It's uh, my pleasure to uh, welcome you all here today to the edge of Fitzgerald Avenue, where this is a truly historic moment for uh, Christchurch City in the event of the, or in the wake of the extraordinary seismic events that have reshaped our lives and uh, reshaped our city. But it's also actually a uh, singular moment in the civil engineering history of New Zealand because today we actually shift from the uh, repair recovery phase that Christchurch has been undergoing in terms of retaining infrastructure, making things work, pushing the water, the wastewater, the roading systems out into the city to try to reconnect our community back into the services which we take for granted as so much of our lives. But today we actually shift from that phase to the beginning of the rebuild phase. So it's with uh, great pleasure that I also welcome to our city, who is home, the Minister of Earthquake uh, Recovery, Jerry Brownlee, who's going to speak to us in just a moment. But this is the biggest civil engineering project undertaken in New Zealand. It's worth around $2 billion. And it really does mark the uh, remaking, the rebuilding, and the moving into very positive territory in very difficult times for the people in our city. And the process that we are using to do this doesn't exactly break new ground, but it's a process which is perfect for the task in front of us. But one of the elements of this task is we really don't know what we don't know. We know that there's a massive operation in front of us, but we don't know the exact details of what we are going to find as we go through the work that we have to do. So how do you enter into a contractual relationship that not only does its maximum to reduce the amount of time that the work will take because everybody in the city just really wants to get on with life, but how do we protect those who are paying for the bills from unreasonable costs when you don't know what the final cost is going to be. And so the alliance model, which sees all of the main contractors sitting around the table along with the government and Sarah, shows us how we can work together, be efficient and minimise the cost to the ratepayers and to the government of New Zealand. So it's uh, an innovative way to approach a massive, massive problem and I'm really proud to be here today at the moment when we moved from recovery and repair to rebuilding. And this is that $2 billion moment here in the heart of Christchurch City. So I'll ask the uh, Minister if he would say a few words to us and uh, help us mark this very special occasion. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Mr Mayor, and um, uh, thank you to all of those who've decided to come along today to mark this occasion. Uh, the Mayor outlined, I think, very, very well the concept of how the Alliance is going to work on this New Zealand's largest uh, civil engineering project uh, to date. But I uh, need to tell you that uh, soon after the February 22nd earthquake, uh, I had a meeting in my office with Nick Miller and the late uh, Bill, uh, Bill Perry, I, should, I know his name well, Bill Perry, uh, to discuss exactly this uh, sort of proposal. And I remember Bill Perry going through the uh, uh, documentation that uh, Fulton Hogan had prepared at that time uh, and the great passion and commitment that he had uh, to rebuilding the city, uh, supported by Nick and, and uh, the team at Fulton's. And uh, that of course has spun out uh, with the work of uh, Bruce McLean and others uh, through Sarah to uh, become the uh, alliance structure that's there today. We've called heavily on the expertise of New Zealand Transport Agency and I thank their officers uh, for being so involved in this process as well. But it is a remarkable collaboration between the contracting uh, sector in New Zealand, the five biggest uh, civil engineering companies in the country, uh, the Christchurch City Council uh, and the government through its various agencies uh, to get the job done as quickly as we can, but also to a very uh, high quality. And I. Um, sometimes think we can look at the numbers that are involved here and consider them to be quite eye-watering and wonder how we'll ever manage to, uh, to pay for it all. But last night I was at the 50th celebrations for one of the companies that's part of the, uh, the alliance, uh, McConnell Dow, and they spoke about uh, in the late 60s 
being part of New Zealand's first one million pound project. Mm. And it was a very large project. It was part of the uh, electricity network uh, or, or generating capacity that we have in the country today. And that figure must have seemed just astronomical at the time. So you think about the value of these assets going forward and the contribution that they make to uh, uh, you know, the quality of life that we have here. And I think it puts everything into a manageable perspective. So uh, I look forward to uh, perhaps uh, being at the occasions where we mark further milestones uh, in the uh, recovery of the infrastructure for Christchurch. Uh, and I think that the collaboration that you've seen in the bringing together of this alliance typifies what's going on here in Canterbury at the moment. Uh, and all of that points to a very, very bright future uh, for this province. So with that, uh, congratulations to all parties. Let's get underway. Great, right, everyone looking this way please. Ready? One, two, and again. One, two, three. Love it, thank you. That's all right. <laughs> Move it, you want to pick up, see the face.